everything square. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to define the concept completing the square as a concept and you should be able to explain this particular process step by step. Welcome to the classroom of Ming. Today I'll talk about completing the square and the rationale for the formula for completing the square. Now, first of all, let us start by looking at this particular um, expansion. X plus beta, everything square, which you are very familiar. And if you expand this, you will get X square plus 2 beta x plus beta square. All right. This particular alphabet is called beta. It's a Greek alphabet for B, beta. Right. So what is completing the square? Well, completing the square basically means to change an equation, a quadratic equation of this particular form, ax squared plus bx plus c into a times x plus h, everything squared plus k. This is also what I would call the turning point form. Turning point form. So this is from a generic quadratic equation into the turning point form. The process is called completing the square. So how do we get started? Well, to get started is that to recognize that this turning point form is very similar to this particular expansion, x plus beta everything squared. So if I can change this quadratic equation in black into something like this, the one in red here, then I will be able to change it into the turning point form. So let's get started. Well, to get into something like this, x squared, here I have ax squared, so I'll need to factor out the a. So if I factor out the a, right, there I will have x squared plus b over a x plus c, b over a. Now, we will now consider an aside that is, I will only now consider the thing in the bracket. If I only consider, consider the thing in the bracket, that is x squared plus b over a x, well, this is equal to, well, and I need to get it to the, this particular form, 2 beta x. Well, I need to have 2 here somewhere. So what I can do is that probably I can add a 2. But I can just add a 2. This is multiplied by 2 divided. So I have to also divide by 2. So if we can see that 2 and 2 cancel out, give me b over a back again. Well, that's great. Now it seems that I have 2 and beta and x. So beta here. My beta here is equal to b over 2a. So my particular beta is b over 2a. So next step is to introduce b beta squared. Now to do that, I will need to have plus this b over 2a everything squared. But I can just add a plus and this equation have to be balanced so I need to have minus b over 2a as well well basically what I'm doing is adding a zero to this equation thus I maintain the balance so the equality now what does that buy me well if you pay attention to the first three terms this is x squared this is 2 times beta x b over 2a is my beta now plus b over 2a, that's the beta, and beta squared. So these three terms, the first three terms, can now be written as this, which is x plus beta, everything squared, and then I have minus the last term, which is b over 2a, everything squared. Oops, so, so this is b over 2a. So I can now replace the bracket now. That is a bracket, huge bracket, and then inside here I write x plus 
d over 2a everything square minus bracket b over 2a everything square plus c so now I expand the bracket you now expand the bracket you will have a x plus b over 2a everything square minus a times b square over 4a square plus c now if you simplify this you will have this which is b square over 4a plus c simplify further you will have this and basically I've done completing the square so this is my h term, term and here is my k term well thank you for attending a class by me hello as a recap um, and as an exercise can you explain to your friend or another person how the quadratic equation uh, a quadratic expression ax squared plus bx plus c can be changed into a times x plus x h everything square plus k that's computing the square another challenging question you may want to try is that use computing the square to show that for ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero that is a quadratic equation set equal to zero then the solution uh, of x will be given as negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac equal to 2a. This is basically the quadratic formula.